This is not 3D. Adam Hedem, the author of this website, is being held hostage. The best crocodile repellent on the market? This is insane. Illegal substances. Hi here, Philip there. This is the series of... Uh, in these videos, I remind myself and you how creatively stupid we all are. Let's go. Number 5. Zionist. 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 Number 5. A personal portfolio website that has a Zionist ice cream truck on it. This site is by Noah Bayo, a visual communication student from Israel. The first thing you lay your eyes on is a... Um, uh, wait, it could be frog caviar. Uh, in any case, limiting your resources leads to creativity. That's a website that only uses one color. That's nice. Yeah, right, Philip. What about black and white? Well, uh, technically, those are not colors. Uh, black is the absence of the color on your screen, and white is all colors mixed together. Yeah, sure. What color is milk, then? Shut up. A three colors website, then. Still, in design, three colors is a miracle. Still, in design, three colors is a recommended maximum. Unless, of course, you're Elton John. I believe the best ideas come while taking a shower. And I believe the best ideas come while taking a sh**. And maybe that's why all of my ideas are sh**. Ideas, though. Why does this site look like this? Well, I have no idea. I'm not a fan. In my opinion, form should follow function or ideology. For example, the site could have said, I believe that in communication design, creativity serves a purpose by following rules and using only necessary resources. That's why my website uses only one color and the visible geometrical grid. Or, my mission is to provide the best crocodile repellent on the market, and that's why my website looks like Sarah Jessica Parker. And this comment applies to all of the websites in this video. So write in the comments how wrong I am. Let's talk about this. Number 4. A personal portfolio website where... Is it? A very long wait. Very, very long wait. Very bad. This actually reminds me of one woman who was waiting for her lover to come out of the closet so long. She had to get a new one. According to various studies, half of the visitors will abandon your website if it takes more than 5 seconds to load, and the other half will seek vengeance after. Is it worth the wait with this website? No, let's continue. Number 3. A portfolio website that has a grandma in ski glasses. With this website, is it worth the wait? Yes. It will make you seriously regret you have not consumed any illegal substances. <laughs> it will make you seriously regret you have not consumed any illegal substances before opening it. This portfolio website is by Jimmy Simmons, a creative developer. Developer. Where did that come from? This portfolio site is by Jimmy Simmons, a creative developer. Very brave, but could be not brave enough. I'd probably make it more mental, visually. The pages that feature projects almost seem to be normal, which makes you think whether maybe there is a problem with continuity. This page almost looks like it was taken from a different site, because it sort of has a different UI style that is unconnected to the home page. the about section. This is not 3D. It looks like 3D, but it isn't. This is probably a form of a video that pans backwards and forwards depending on the position of your cursor on the screen. This is much much faster and lighter to build something like this without using 3D. And this is great, because this is resourceful thinking. Number 3. A portfolio website that has a grandma in ski glasses. This is a site by Kama Boka, who I don't understand. Literally. I don't understand. What I do understand is this great go with pastel colors and you'll never be wrong color palette and the minimalist typography with smooth animations. Night mode. Looks very nice. Not really a night mode. One woman became blind like this. 
had to quit her job as a developer and became a construction crane operator. But uh, nobody cares. She was not an honest woman. Better look at this. I bet you'd never would have noticed this. I think it's always nice to discover little details like this. It feels rewarding and shows you that the author cares. And this looks like a grandma in ski glasses. And this is Gru from Despicable Me, eating something unpleasant. Number two, a personal portfolio website where its creator is being held hostage by a banker gang. <laughs> Number two, a personal portfolio website where its creator is being held hostage by a biker gang leader. This portfolio is by Quentin, and I can't pronounce his surname. And I'm gonna need an old English dictionary now. Gee Wilkers heavens to Betsy. What a marvelous contraption this is. And do not let yourself to be deepsy doodled. It's most certainly and exclusively CSS. I mean, I love all the WebGL 3D websites, but I also love my MacBook Air and not having to push around a wheelbarrow with a portable nuclear plant in it because CSS is so much lighter and easier on your battery. Adam Hedem Strickland Gillian 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 Strickland Gillian Strickland Gillian Strickland Gillian Adam Hedem This was the shortest poem ever written. Uh, composed by an American poet, uh, Strickland. St <sighs> composed by an American poet, Strickland. Gil. Dig. <laughs> Adam. Adam. This was the shortest poem ever written. Composed by American poet, uh, Strickland Gilliland, in the early 20th century. Creativity thrives when resources are limited. But to a more pressing matter now. I think the real Quentin, the author of this website, is being held hostage by a leader of a Romanian biker gang who passes himself off as an illustrator. Look, I don't think it's Quentin. You can almost hear this guy saying, yes, uh, draw me like this, and see real Quentin tied to a radiator on a piece of cardboard next to a dirty aluminium ball and an anorexic cat. And look, uh, here is more proof. I discovered the secret message in the about text. On a side note, I think this is a bit too bold and too big for such a big amount of text, which makes it harder to read. And finally, number one. A personal portfolio website that's probably not even a personal portfolio website and that has a weirdest recapture that I've ever seen that's probably not even a recapture. This site is by Pete, a creative developer. Root. Uh, not entirely clear what root is. Um, a beetroot, a turnip, a carrot, perhaps? That's the most elaborate thing I've ever seen. That and the semi-automatic motorized bear that my grandfather built out of a Serbian crop harvester. <laughs> and the site makes you feel like you're in an Iron Man suit. Iron Man, not Iron Man. Geriatric developer, you should add epilepsy warning. Hectic website, all form, limited content. I really love self-deprecating humor. The site definitely does remind you of the sites from Naughties, um, which I kinda miss, actually. Both the Naughties and the Flash websites. And by Naughties, I mean Naughty Girls, of course, and not the 2000s. They used to look exactly like this, the Flash websites. And the reason I think there are not that many sites like this anymore is that it now takes much more time and effort to build something like this than it used to using Flash. By the way, did I mention that this site is all CSS and HTML? This is insane. And that's why it loads so fast. This site also feels like it should have had sound effects. Um, but if you watch my other videos, you'd see why I think it's a really bad idea. And uh, to add to the self-deprecating topic, it always feels nice to see personality and human language on a portfolio website. Especially when it's a portfolio website even if it isn't.
and about that. There seems to be a whole class of portfolio websites that are not portfolio websites. Or rather, I think you could call them a single project portfolio websites. With the website itself being the only project in the portfolio, that showcases the design and the development skills of the author in a really cool and powerful way. I have another good... I have another good example of a single portfolio website in my other videos here. Check it out. But before you go, hit subscribe and stay inspired. And also hit that bell to help all those people in the world whose surname begins or starts with L. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.